Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another episode of our Give Donation Plugin series. Okay, so I've installed the Give Plugin into my WordPress and I'm using 4.2.2, which is the most recent WordPress version. However, I decided to change themes, so I picked the 2013 theme. But when I did, I noticed something different. The menu here shows differently than it does on the 2014 and 2015 themes. Uh, these pages here, donation confirmation, donation history, and transaction failed, don't show on the newest theme. It's a different layout, but they do show here. Now these pages aren't something you're going to want to just randomly click on. Okay, these are uh, pages that are shown during the process of the give donation. So what we want to do is remove these from the main menu, but they're automatically added when you install the give plugin. Now you can set it to private if I go to uh, my dashboard say and I have pages here but if I set these to private then I can only see them if I'm logged in they're only for you know people that are, have access to certain privileges in the WordPress particularly the admin so if that page is called from say just a normal user um, they're just doing an anonymous donation it would get a 404 error so we don't want that to happen either but we don't want to we do want to keep the pages there just not in the menu so what we're going to do is we have to create a menu, uh, a main menu for your, your theme in order to deal with this. So go over to Appearance and click on Menus. All right, I'm going to create a new menu. Okay, so it gives us the option to create it. We're going to call this uh, Main Menu, which is fine, or Navigation, or whatever you want to call it. All right, so hit Create Menu. Okay, so now it opens everything up here. Uh, menu structure, there's nothing there yet. So we're gonna go on, uh, you have the most recent, most recently added pages here. Uh, we're gonna click view all, and say we're gonna have home, and you know, our sample page, which really is nothing, but let's say that's a page, maybe it's your about page or, or contact information or something like that. Maybe you have something like that there. But the point is we're gonna skip the donation confirmation, the donation history, and transaction failed pages. That's the big point. We don't want those. We're gonna add these two to the menu so we have something in the menu. Okay, so these are the two pages that are gonna be there. And we're gonna save the menu. All right, so easy enough. And if we go back to, now we have to manage the location, I'm sorry. And we're gonna add the main menu here. That's to be our navigation menu, which is what we want. And you gotta save the changes here. So now if I go back to my blog, again, this is this default look here, and I click the refresh button. Now I have the home and the sample page. The other pages still exist, but they are not visible by the main menu because I told them not to be. However, they still can be called forward and seen as needed. So if the Give plugin wants to call forward the confirmation page, it'll do so, and it's not gonna 404 because I didn't set it to private. Okay, so that's how you take those default pages for the Give plugin and still have them in use, but not show up on your menu. Thanks for joining us for another episode of our Give Donation plugin series. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below so we can bring you more great videos. Thanks and see you next time. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.